What's up, guys? Today's episode is brought to you by the Barbershop Establishment. Love supporting a small local business. And I haven't got a haircut in two months, so I look pretty ridiculous right now. <laughs> the best time to buy a house is when you're ready. But buying a house can be intimidating if you're not familiar and educated with some of the most common phrases and words used throughout the process. Here are four of the most common words that you're gonna hear throughout the home buying process. Number one, pre-approval. Get familiar with this word because you're gonna hear this often during the beginning stages of the home buying process. A pre-approval is an actual letter that you're gonna receive from a mortgage lender stipulating how much you can borrow to put towards a house. Now, in order to determine that amount, the lender is going to look at your debt to income, your work and credit history, your assets, and all your finances, thus coming up with an amount that you can spend to put towards a house. Very, very important. You need a pre-approval to even put an offer in on a house. Number two, earnest money. This is a deposit that's made to the seller that represents the buyer's good faith to purchase the home. Now, this deposit is going to be made at the offer stage of the process, and it's usually in the amount of $1,000, but it can vary, especially if you are in a multiple offer situation, you can increase this amount, and that's gonna show that the seller that you're serious, that you're a strong buyer, and you're ready, willing, and able to move forward. Keep in mind, this amount is also applied directly to your down payment. And that brings me to my next word, escrow. Escrow, that's a, that's that's a weird word. Did you get that one? Escrow. 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 Earnest money that we just talked about gets deposited into an escrow account. An escrow account is opened up by a third party, so neither the buyer or the seller to temporarily hold the money. You can't touch it and neither can the seller. It's in escrow. This helps make the transaction a lot safer by protecting the assets of the buyer and the seller until both parties have met the obligations of their agreement. And last but not least, home inspection. And you're probably saying, well, Mark, that one's self-explanatory. And I'd say you'd be surprised. A home inspection is an examination of the current condition of the home that you're under contract with. It's done by a licensed home inspector. They're going to assess the physical structure of the property all the way down from the foundation up to the roof to all the home systems to make sure everything's up to code. The home inspector is going to identify any major defects, any other major problems in a written report so that you can make an informed decision about the home that you're purchasing. The written report is going to include an assessment of necessary and recommended repairs, maintenance concern, and any other potential costly issues. You as the buyer are responsible for the cost of the home inspection it's usually going to run between three and five hundred dollars depending on the size of the home and don't worry your agent will be able to recommend a few different reputable home inspectors for you to choose from all right guys thank you for tuning in i hope that you learned a thing or two as always if you have any real estate needs whatsoever don't hesitate to reach out to me have a great day